so i didn't want the sewing version to be too lengthy that is why i created an episode where i talk about the um, fabric i use how to fold and how to cut out your pattern okay now the name of the fabric i used for this corset is ankara yes and i used just one yard of fabric that's for the corsets without the sleeves and for the lining i use just one yard of lining now how do you fold your fabric now before you even fold your fabric the first thing you need to do is iron okay you need to iron down interfacing to your fabric and to do this you have to identify the wrong side of your fabric okay and right that's what i'm showing you guys right now um this is the wrong side of my fabric and you guys i was so lucky to get a fabric that has two face and this other face is actually beautiful but right now it is just going to be acting as the wrong side okay so now that i have the wrong side i'm just going to place my interfacing on it and i'll iron this down okay so identify the wrong side of your fabric place your interfacing on it and iron this down and whatever you're doing right now on the main fabric please repeat it on the lining okay your lining should also have interfacing ironed to the wrong side pick a side and make that side the wrong side okay iron down your interfacing now once i am done the next thing i'm going to do is i'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two so this is me um i'm just trying to flip this making sure that the right side is facing me and now i can go ahead and fold my fabric into two and before you ask me the width now you just make sure that you're folding according to what you have on your pattern and extra allowance okay and i'm just going to iron this down so it lays really flat before i cut now like i said before the same thing you did here on the main piece repeat that on the lining and then bring your lining and let's go into the next step the next step is also place the lining just the same way the main fabric is sitting okay this is my lining it has interfacing on it okay now i'm just going to fold my lining into two the same way i did for the main piece i'll fold it into two and i'm just going to fold it on top of the main piece because i want to cut my lining and my main piece together so i have equal parts okay i want equal parts so i'm cutting everything together and yeah you have to iron for it to lay flat okay ironing is just it's everything please do that it's going to make your work easier iron okay so what i did now is place my pattern to confirm if i have the actual width i need and yes i do so i'll place my lining and my main piece to two equal widths okay two equal widths and now i can place my pattern i'll pin add allowance and cut so we are pppc place pattern pin and cut <laughs> this is my front pattern and you can see the way I, I placed it um on the lining and the main piece i made sure that the center front of my front piece is sitting at the close edge where i have the fold the close edge of my lining and my main piece and i'm just pinning this down hope i'm not rambling too much hope you got that part so i'm pinning this down so that when i'm cutting it does not move and i don't make a mistake and what i'm doing right now is I'm just confirming on the main piece that I have the pattern sitting the same way it is sitting on the lining. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add half an inch allowance on the base of my pattern. And then on the top here, on the top here, but no side, no allowance on the side. Because I have one inch allowance already on the side. So I'm just going to add the half an inch on the base. This is because I'm going to be joining it to the lining so i need a half an inch so half an inch here half an inch top here now this is not going to affect anything if we have the excess we're going to trim it out okay so just go ahead and add that half an inch it is better for you to have excess than have um and not have enough okay i keep saying that better for you to have too much enough than not have enough at all so once i have my allowance done i'm just showing you guys that i added half an inch i'll go ahead and cut out my front piece 
and bear this in mind that what i'm cutting right now is both the lining and the main piece because i place them together and yes that is what i did don't forget to like share and subscribe yes it's a bonus video but still i still need your likes i still need your engagement so yeah go ahead and like share and subscribe so after cutting my front pattern i'll go ahead and cut my back pattern just the same way i did for my front i'll place the lining and the main piece together i'll place my back pattern like this and then i'll add allowance pinning first before I add allowance. For the allowance on the back piece, I'm going to be adding allowance half an inch on the base because we did the same thing on the front pattern, okay? So the base of the back pattern needs the half an inch so it can be equal to the front. And I'll do the same thing on the top of my back. I'm just going to add half an inch allowance also i won't be adding at the side because i already have one inch allowance remember right but then i'll be adding at the center back okay at the center back here i will extend it by half an inch or so so please note that we're adding allowance on almost everything and not the side okay because the sides already have one inch allowance so yeah let me just write center back so you know that this is the center back that i've always been screaming center back center back center back <laughs> okay so now I can go ahead and cut my back pattern. Bear this in mind that what I'm cutting right now is both the lining and the main piece, okay? So don't be confused. I have the lining on top and I have the main piece of my fabric under the lining. And I'm cutting the two of them or the both of them or I'm just cutting it together. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to do the same thing for my cup patterns i'm going to place them on both the lining and the main piece and cut but i won't be showing you guys all i'm just going to do one and you guys get the gist okay so yeah both the lining and the main pieces here i am not going to add any allowance to the cup because i already have half an inch allowance round and that is going to be enough So you guys this is just the bonus video i just wanted you guys to see a very detailed way of how i cut out my pattern piece without making any of those videos longer so thank you for watching please repeat the steps for the other cup pattern and i'll be seeing you guys on the sewing version and yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe i hope this video helps love and light to you wherever you are bye for now